Prepare yourselves, ladies. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So let's talk about crafting equipment. Uh, one common question I see a lot, especially among beginner players, is uh, are there ways to craft perfect gear? Now this was a burning question I also had when I first began playing the game. Uh, but to answer that question up front, there is no such way to craft perfect gear despite all the myths floating around. The most common myth relating to crafting ideology is the notion that using perfect or near perfect subcomponents will result in a perfect or near perfect end product. Now this does include of course upgrading those subcomponents with melange and hoping you get hoping you get a high level equipment in return. Unfortunately, that's not the case. So in this episode of Ark of War Mythbusters, we're going to disprove this core doctrine of equipment forging. And we're going to do that by putting the myth to the test at varying uh, rarities of equipment. Specifically, we're going to be putting the myth to the test using hormone regulators, nervous activators, and thalamus boosters. Uh, but to preface, I want to lay out some some foundational knowledge so that beginner players can understand what they see going forward. But hormone regulators, so with that said, hormone regulators can have a maximum stat of a 15% positive stat. Now let me show you what that means exactly. So hormone regulators can have a maximum positive stat of 15%. On the other hand, they can have a maximum negative stat of 1%. Or, I mean, I guess there's a, there's a few different ways of saying that, but it could get a little confusing. But the best stat, I, I'll say, the best stat you can get on the negative stat is 1%. That's the best stat. The worst stat I believe it's 8%, maybe 6 I I'm not sure, but for now, let's just focus on what the best stat is, because that's what we want, right? We want the best gear. So with nervous activators, the max stat you can get for, for the positive stat is 24%, and the best stat you can get for the negative stat is 4%, or I should, should I say negative 4%. Thalamus boosters have a maximum positive stat of 50% while having a maximum stat of negative 5% for the negative stat down here. One last piece of information to consider is that when you craft a specific gear piece, the two subcomponents or the subcomponents that it consumes will be the least valued subcomponents. In this case, for example, if I would like to craft the Nervous Activator 3, it will consume my two least valued hormone regulator threes. To showcase what that really means, here I have hormone regulator fours, and then we jump into the hormone regulator threes. Now, the very first ones you come across are the most valued, this one being valued at 661, going to 654, and depreciating as we go along. So like I just said, when you craft, for example, in this case, when you craft a Nervous Activator 3, it will consume the least valued hormone regulator. So, in this case, it would consume this hormone regulator 3 and this hormone regulator 3, and as you continue to craft, it keeps consuming, working its way up. This is one key piece of information that you should consider as we go along the video. With that said, let's jump into it. So here I have a recording of me during guild mobilization event where I crafted lots of gear. So I'm showing you guys all my hormone regulators, the hormone regulator threes, because we're going to be crafting some nervous activator threes. So here you can see those, these are near perfect hormone regulator threes. So we're going to go over to the forge ship and I'm currently forging a nervous activator one, but I'm going to be speeding that up. So with what I just mentioned regarding crafting, keep in mind again, I want to repeat that the very first gear piece I craft, if the myth were to be true, 
the first gear piece I craft should be the worst gear piece because again the first gear piece that you craft consumes the two least valued hormone regulators so the nervous activator 3 here is 19% uh, 19 again that hormone regulator 1 is what I sped up so theoretically if the myth were to hold true we, sh we should not see a a lower valued nervous activator 3 than a 19 percent so here I'm just gonna quickly speed this up and just crafting a bunch of nervous activator 3's so we go over and look at them so we see a 24 percent again we should not see anything lower than a 19 percent correct but as you'll see we see a 17.8 percent we see an we see a 16.6 .6 and a 16.5 so now let's go over and do some hormone regulator ones so again keep in mind that the first one that I craft is a 17.3 percent so again the first two hormone regulators that I consumed to make that nervous activator were the least valued hormone regulator ones Therefore, if the myth were to hold true, I should not see a nervous activator 1 lower than a 17% because theoretically they should be improving in stats, not going down. So here I begin, I craft some more nervous activator 1s and we see a 16.9% and an 18%. So again here I'm just showcasing that the nervous, that the hormone regulator 1s the highest valued ones are still here just to prove that it consumes the lowest hormone regulator ones and works its way up to consume the highest valued hormone regulator ones so here we just continue to craft more nervous activators so again we should we theorize that if the myth holds true the nervous activators should be increasing in stats. So let's go take a look at our nervous activators. And yes, we do get some lucky rolls. But as you can see, guys, you see some much lower nervous activators. So this just proves even further that it is all RNG, it is all random, there is no secret way to forge perfect gear. So now we're going to be taking a look at Thalamus Booster 3's. I'm going to quickly craft one Thalamus Booster 3 to see what stat we get so we can start off with a value and have a reference value and continue crafting Thalamus Booster 3's to further disprove the myth. So here we're going to quickly speed it up. And then we're going to now let's go we're going to go take a look at the Thalamus Booster 3. As you can see, we have crafted a 42.4% dodge. So again, that Thalamus Booster 3 consumed the least valued nervous activators. So let's continue to forge these Thalamus Booster 3s and in theory, if the myth were to hold true, the value of these Thalamus Booster 3s would only increase from here. So here we got our lucky roll, 47, a 43, but as you can see, a 38.8 and a 37.7. I hope this video helped clear up some misconceptions about forging equipment. If I missed anything, please feel free to mention it down in the comments below. I will respond. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get notifications when my videos drop. And again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.